Welcome back to our science lesson. The Earth is water place. About 70% of the Earth's surface is water covered, and the oceans hold about 96.5% of all Earth's water. Water is one of the most important substances on Earth. Living things must have water to survive. In this time, we will learn about water cycle. The sun heats up the water from oceans, lakes, river, or from Earth's surface, and water changes into water vapor by the process of evaporation. Plants lose water in the form of water vapor from their leaves into the air by the process of transpiration. As the water vapor rises up into the air, it starts cooling down and forms tiny water droplets. These water droplets come together to form clouds. This process is named condensation. When the clouds is getting heavy and cannot hold the water droplets anymore, the rain, hail, or snow will happen. This process is named precipitation. Some of the water that falls on the earth seeps into the ground. This water is available to us in the form of ground water. The remaining water falls back into oceans, lakes, rivers, and seas. This process is named collection. And the sun starts heating up this water once again. The circulation of water is called water cycle. Based on the explanation before, this is the diagram of water cycle. That's all for today, see you on our next lesson.